Hello and welcome to Curious City. With a difference, we're on lockdown. Um, this is all about helping creative freelancers, indie businesses, arts companies raise awareness about their current plight and tell you how you can help them. So if you're keen to get in touch or you know someone that needs some help, please email me letty at curious.art. And just to say, we are recording this online so the audio isn't usual industry studio spec. So forgive us for that and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another episode of Curious City on Lockdown. Today I'm talking to Alex Maxwell, who is the owner of Sheffield's favourite indie bookshop, La Biblioteca. Alex, hello. Hello. How are you doing today? Uh, we are not doing too badly, considering. Um, you know, it's always a case of adjusting to what the new day brings in terms of uh, everything, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like situations and, and getting by. So what kind of impact has C19 had on your day-to-day -day existence? Uh, well, um, it's, 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 uh, it's short of my commute, basically. The, 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 the space <laughs> at uh, Commune um, closed, uh, where are we now, uh, two, two Fridays ago um, to the public, and uh, we were given notice uh, on Monday, so a week ago now, that that, that access to the building would, would, would be sort of curtailed for 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 in, well indefinitely for the for, you know temporarily but indefinitely. Um, so we managed to move as much stock as we could um, back home, which sort of brings us full circle to almost how we started with loads of boxes piled up in our apartment um, <laughs> full of magazines and books. Uh, so. At least you're not short on reading material. Exactly, yes. We're, we're sorted and hopefully we can um, slowly but surely address other people's needs um, from that uh, until, we can, until we can get access back to our shop and, and get open um, in, that, in that mode or in another mode as, as um, you know, the, the, the kind of normality will be a different thing, I think, in a few weeks' time. Um, yeah than what it was a few weeks ago. So, so are you you're still taking orders and doing home deliveries and is, are you able to function in any kind of way at all? We are, people can order through the website, they can email us if they want any book recommendations or you know if they still want us to keep working, we're still happy to do that and they can get in touch with us obviously through all sort of social media, etc. Um, our book, suppliers have just today this morning said that they will be halting operations for, uh, for well, temporarily um to support their staff which is which is honestly good and, and and great so um we cannot supply books but certainly we can take orders and and, and they will be processed as, as soon as is sort of safe to do so um and again you know either through the website or through email um and that will be sort of a vital line of support for the next couple of weeks um, but otherwise, if, if people are short on material or they want to try something new, get in touch and we're happy to sort of give recommendations. And um, um, could you just give us the, um, your links to either Twitter or Instagram or your website? Yeah, we are, uh, La Biblioteca everywhere, which is L-A-B-I-B-L-I-O-T-E-K-A. -E um, and it's labiblioteca.co for the website. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so for... The people listening that want to support you, like what is the best way for them to do that? If have you got a GoFund campaign or have you got vouchers or what sort of can they? How can they keep you going through this crisis? Uh, yeah, I mean, if they are, I, I always say the best way to support, especially retailers, to is to go yeah. and buy stuff. Um, vouchers and things are great, but uh, there's 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 kind of you know an inherent trust level on both sides which I guess for me I've never really felt comfortable with but I understand that people you know love vouchers and that's a great way to support especially people in the hospitality trade at the moment um for us obviously we still have products that we can that we can post out as long as raw mail is working um yeah. which should be um hopefully the last thing to go um otherwise we do have vouchers available um, if you would like to purchase them for yourself or for, for gifts. Um, we also have, uh, or sort of will have by the time this 
is available. Or I don't know, you can edit this somehow. <laughs> um, we also have um, uh, book bonds available, um, which will oh, be able book to... Bond. Book bonds, yes. So in times of strife... The question that um, Alex is working from home with uh, the delightful Elio. Elio? Elio. Elio, um, yes. In case yes. you can hear any gurgling, it is neither me nor Alex. Yes, yeah, so what, what is a book bond? Well, um, I guess in terms of strife, people buy government bonds, or at least big financial institutions buy government bonds because they're kind of fairly safe and, uh, and a long term. So, so our interpretation is um, you help us out now, you, you know, um, buy, buy some book bonds, and then you get discounted books uh, for the rest of the year or for the next couple of years or... Um, for, for for the very generous amongst you, um, we're offering sort of a a small dis a small discount for life. Um, suddenly, that's that's your life or our life. So uh, tons of <laughs> yeah. as well. Um, they'll they'll be available on our website. Um, so go check out uh, them if you're if you're interested, and that will that will sort of help us uh, operate sort of as best we can through through these kind of crazy times. Yeah. Um, and what would you say, can you recommend any top reads for people through this current pandemic? What would you say is a good escapism or something relevant or, yeah, any recommendations for us? Uh, yeah, if you are looking for um, something to keep you busy, you know, often a uh, sort of this is a great time to read uh, things that you've often put aside for, you know, because you'll never have time to get around to them. Well, here's, here's your chance that you've got lots of time um, and not much else perhaps to be able to do. So um, I guess new titles, uh, we've, we've seen, a, 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 um, we've seen the, the mirror and the light do really well. The, the new um, Hilary Mantel book. Um, yeah. The last in the Wolf Hall trilogy. Um, that's, that's a very good suggestion, Elio. That, exactly, yeah. So he's he's been enjoying it. Um, that that will that should see for at least a couple of weeks solid reading. Um, yeah. Just out this week, uh, also some of the historical fiction um, is is Hamnet, um, which has been getting some really great uh, reviews and. and is looking at uh, sort of the, the life and the backstory of, of, of Shakespeare's character. Um, otherwise, um, I mean, I have uh, gone back to some of the classics. People often um, yeah. turn, turn to sort of classics of these times. So, I'm contemplating um, Yes, exactly. Um, War and Peace obviously yeah. gets a good thing. Uh, Middlemarch um, mm -hmm. is another one to, to sink some teeth into. Um, and I've seen a few people who have uh, started uh, Dickens from the beginning and, uh, and are going to work their way through. Um, so, so there's a few things in there. I mean, in terms of uh, escapism, there's always some kind of quite nice um, kind of new literary stuff I've I, I enjoyed recently. Um, in fact, local Sheffield author, um, The Island Child. Um, which, uh, yeah, I think you've had on the podcast. Yes, uh, I read that recently. And, uh, yeah, really like that. And um, uh, yeah, so there's there's a sort of few things there, and uh, I, th I think I think this is definitely a good a good time to add uh, to try and get through that uh, to be read pile. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, and also to just to add that we are doing a <coughs> competition, <coughs> a creative prompt. For anyone who wants to get involved and keep that creativity going and we're giving away vouchers for that um so if you want to get involved you can find us on instagram at curious arts and get involved in the curious quarantine creative challenge to support the biblioteca as well as us alex i'm going to leave you in peace with that little man <laughs> thank you yeah, I think he needs to go out for his uh, daily hour of allotted exercise. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, please, and we'll see you on the other side. Yeah. Keep in touch, <laughs> and I'll see you on. Uh, I'll see you online. <laughs> yeah. See you online. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>
a Curious Arts production. <laughs>